Hey, what's up guys? Anton here from Dropship Lifestyle and I wanted to make a video addressing this, right? Dropshipping on Amazon. Now, I get a ton of emails, as you could probably imagine, to my Dropship Lifestyle website and a lot of people are asking about this, about dropshipping on Amazon, how can you dropship on Amazon, you know, what is dropshipping on Amazon, what does that look like? And I wanted to make this video so I don't have to type out the email every time, right? Now I can send people to this resource and kind of explain how this works and my thoughts on it. With that being said, I also want to let you know that I'm not, you know, making this video to try to sell you anything or convince you of anything. I just want to show you my experience with this based on 10 years of running e-commerce businesses. Now, let's start by taking a step back, right? A step back from dropshipping on Amazon and look at three different ways that you can make money with dropshipping anyway. And when I say you, I mean literally anyone in the world. Now, the first that a lot of people use on Amazon is what's called arbitrage. So I'll just write arb for short and we'll call this number one. Now with this model, arbitrage basically means you're buying from one place and reselling in another. So in this example, especially with Amazon, what a lot of people like to do is try to sor source products from let's say walmart.com and they try to find products that are selling for you know, not that much on walmart.com that are selling for more on amazon.com. And then in this scenario, Walmart becomes their supplier, right? So this is the most common way you'll see people drop shipping on Amazon. Now, what's the second way to make money with drop shipping? Well, it's another trend that's really hot right now. And that would be, I'm just gonna write Ali. That's drop shipping from AliExpress, you know, drop shipping from China. Uh, by the way, if you're interested in that, I have another video called drop shipping from China and I'll link to that below. But with this model, you're basically sourcing products from overseas that when you get an order, they then ship Again, I'm gonna keep saying China because that's where most of the factories are. They ship from there to your customer. So in this scenario, scenario two, your supplier would actually be, I'm gonna write AliExpress. And with this model also, I should note that uh, most people are using Oberlo, which is like a, a middleman app. Um, I, again, I'll talk more about that in my drop shipping from China video if you're interested and kind of want to learn more about that path. Uh, with that being said, guys, I said there were three. Number one is doing the arbitrage model. Number two method for making money with drop shipping is AliExpress model. And number three is what I'm going to call US. And with this, they could like I'm, I'm saying US. What I really mean is domestic suppliers. So I'm from the States. My businesses are in the States. We sell for suppliers that are in the States. So for me, uh, that's the third option, US suppliers. And if you're watching this right now and you're in Australia, then this would be Australia, right? Basically, you're not drip, drop shipping from overseas. You're not drop shipping from a Walmart.com or a site like that, but you're actually selling for suppliers that are in your country, wherever that may be. So I'm going to write this down and I'll just write local, okay? And I don't mean like down the street local, I mean, you know, geographically in your country local. So these are the three different main ways that you can make money with drop shipping. Uh, there are a lot of different ones. And you know, if you feel like adding some, go ahead and comment below. But again, like these are the three ways that most people that actually run these type of businesses uh, use drop shipping as a fulfillment method. Now, with that being said, let me tie it back to Amazon. Because with all of these, you don't have to use Amazon, right? But the purpose of this video is to talk about that. So. Method number one here, right? The arbitrage model, you know, trying to list something for sale on Amazon. Then once you get the sale, you go ahead and you basically drop ship it from, I'm just gonna keep using Walmart as the example. Now, here's the thing, right? Can this work? The answer is yes, people do this, right? And they make some money with it. The problem is that, first of all, it's not really a business because you're constantly trying to find products on Walmart that you could sell for more on Amazon. and probably I mean, one of the biggest problems is you have to make sure that these products are always in stock because when your orders are coming in on Amazon and you have to fulfill them, you know, you're not like working with a supplier who's telling you how much inventory they have. You're literally going to another website, buying these items and then shipping it to the customer that bought from you on Amazon. Now, you can probably realize what the problems could be with that, right? How it could be problematic. Uh, first of all, the packaging probably is going to come, you know, not from the product company they bought, but probably come from Walmart or wherever else it is. So with that, what it leads to is really customer service issues. Okay. So for that, let me change colors here for that. When you're drop shipping on Amazon, even though I know people are using this method and I know they're making some quick money here, but I'm not going to re recommend it because for two reasons, 
First is that customer service thing, okay? You're literally using another website that you have no connection with other than you're buying stuff from it to fulfill orders. That's not a good business relationship, okay? That leads to my second problem with this model and that problem really is that, you know, it's not a business. Like, you're, you don't have a business. You have like a quick thing where you're trying to flip a product and make five bucks, you know? Maybe you can get 10 if you get the, a big enough gap between the Walmart price and the Amazon price, which it's not a business, you know? It could be like a hobby. It could be something people experiment with, but because of that, you know, I do not recommend this. And arbitrage, to be honest, I don't recommend recommend drop shipping with arbitrage anywhere. Um, just not something I would endorse. Not something we do. Not something that I think is a good use of your time. You could make more money for your time. Okay. With that being said, though, let's keep going and let's assume you're still set on drop shipping on Amazon. That's what you want to do, right? Your next option would be to use a website like AliExpress. Now. That gives you more freedom than something like drop shipping from you know another website. The reason is because you can actually like private label products. Um, with this model, you're kind of like saying like, oh, here's this you know branded product. Like here's this Sharpie flip chart marker, right? Whereas with AliExpress, you could say you know here's this whatever. It could be private labeled. It could have no label on it. You know here's Anton's famous orange marker, right? So you have a little bit more control. Um, Usually inventory is a little bit better too, because you actually have that business relationship with your supplier, albeit they're on the other side of the world. Um, but you know, it's a little bit better than this. With that being said, if you want to drop ship on Amazon, you still are going to run into the issue of long lead times. Okay. Even the fastest like e-packet shippers on AliExpress, you know, and I've ordered from them, like literally just like to test this and see how long it takes. You're looking at a few weeks and you know how Amazon works, right? I'm assuming you do because most of the world buys there. You know, people are used to prime. They're used to getting items in one or two days. If you're drop shipping from AliExpress on Amazon, your customers are looking at two, three, four week lead times. Guess what? You're going to get negative reviews. And honestly, another big problem with this is once these products get to the, the customer, the Amazon end user, what if they're not happy with it, right? They just waited three or four weeks. They finally got it. What if it doesn't live up to what they thought it was going to be and they want to return it? Well, it's not going back to China and Amazon has a very lenient return policy. So all these little crap products, they're coming back to you. They're going in your apartment, in your garage, they're going somewhere. So because of that, I don't recommend this at all either. If you want to drop ship on Amazon, uh, the way AliExpress drop shippers usually make money and the way it works is they're actually selling on their own Shopify stores. The reason they do that is because they can kind of, you know, you can get away with having a less than perfect customer service experience. Uh, basically, like if your customers aren't happy, it's not like Amazon where they could tell the world and Amazon will ban you. If you're drop shipping on your own store, maybe you can get away with not having good customer service. So that's where a lot of these AliExpress drop shippers, you know, fall in, what category they fit in. Now, the next model, right? Model three. Uh, this is drop shipping again with those local suppliers. So. The example I can give you would be if I sold this whiteboard, whoever made this whiteboard, uh, it's not a whiteboard, this, uh, I don't even know what you call it, flip chart. If I had a business relationship with them where I said, okay, flip chart board, you know, what can I basically sell these for? Like what's my, what's my cost? What's my wholesale cost? What's my map cost? What's the MSRP? And then I sold them and then this company fulfilled the orders, right? Now that, you know, if you think about it, if you wanted to drop ship with that model on Amazon, it would work. Now, I'm not saying it's just because it's what we do. Uh, you know, we just do this because it's what works. But if you think of this, right, uh, basically like you're selling these products, they're on Amazon, but then your supplier is already in the area, right? And you could say, hey supplier, this these people ordered these products today, ship them out please. Okay, a few days later, the Amazon customer gets their product, they're either happy, they're either or they're not, and if it gets returned, it goes back to your supplier, okay? So hopefully you could start to see the benefits with something like that, right? So if you were going to drop ship on Amazon, if you were gonna try that, this is how it would work. It would be working with what I would call, grab another marker, what I would call local suppliers. Again, if you're in Australia, they could be in Australia if, and I don't even know if, Australia, if, if Amazon's in Australia yet. I, mean, I would assume they are, but they'd be in Australia. If you're, if you're in the States, they'd be in the States. This is how you can actually build a real business with drop shipping on Amazon, okay? With that being said, I know I keep having like all these like things that I'm, I'm adding on to what I'm explaining, but there's a reason. I told you I've been doing this for, uh, for 10 years now, so I've kind of learned a lot of things along the way. And one of them is that a lot of these brands that would you know, kind of have these business relationships with you where you could sell their products, where you could be an authorized retailer to drop ship their products. When you get approved with them, they're probably going to tell you, and this is like 70, 80% of the time, they're going to tell you, Hey, guess what? We would love it if you sell our products, but 
you cannot drop ship them on Amazon. That, and it's that simple. The same thing with eBay, okay? Part of the agreements that these good suppliers have, the ones you can actually make money with, the ones that are real businesses, part of that agreement is you're not allowed to sell on platforms like Amazon, like eBay. The reason they do that is because there's really not a benefit for, for you to you know to sell there, right? They don't want 20 different companies like us, internet retailers, all basically having a price war on Amazon or on eBay. So we don't even sell there. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking like, thanks Anton, you know, I just watched a, a five minute video about how to drop ship on Amazon and you're telling me don't drip, drop ship on Amazon. Well, that's pretty much true. Uh, if they do tell you that you can actually sell on Amazon, then it's worth it. If not, here's what I'm gonna recommend, okay? I'm gonna give you, you know, for the purpose of this video, it's, it's not a big training, this is something quick just to answer this question I always get. Um, I'm gonna just show you like how I would recommend doing this, okay? Remember, we're talking about local suppliers now, local brands that you get approved to sell for. Here's how a good drop shipping business works, okay? You have your suppliers. And again, I'm gonna write local. Now let's assume you wanted to sell, you know, flip charts and whiteboards and that was your, your niche, okay? And let's just say there was, I don't know, five, five suppliers. You would get approved with each supplier individually to sell their products and you would sell them as their brands. You would be a retailer. Think of it when you go to a Walmart or a Target. They don't sell their own products, they sell for different brands. So you would maybe have five different brands and you would build a Shopify store, okay? This is where you make your money. All of these brands are listed on your website. You're gonna drive traffic to your website through Google. A Little bit different, now I'm telling you not to drop ship on Amazon, right? I'm telling you to drop ship on Shopify, but I'm telling you to get your traffic through Google product listing ads. It's, as you know, the biggest search engine in the world. We bring them to our Shopify stores. That way we could take advantage of all of the benefits of using these local suppliers and we can still capitalize on big traffic. Like, I think the main reason people like the idea of drop shipping on Amazon is because there's so many people there. Well, guess what? On Google Shopping and Google Product Listing Ads, there's a ton of people too, and we don't need to drop ship on Amazon to make money, okay? You could build a Shopify store. Uh, Shopify's $29 a month, and we actually have like a, a referral code that gets you 10% off, so what's that? It's like $24 a month, right? Get your traffic through Google, have them go to Shopify, sell for local suppliers. I'm telling you, after 10 years in this business, this is how we've consistently been able to drop ship profitably. It's not drop shipping on Amazon. It's not drop shipping on eBay. It's not drop shipping from China. It's not doing the arbitrage model. It's working with legitimate brands, developing real business relationships, building a real asset here, and using Google as the primary driver of sales. So listen, I hope you found that helpful. If I just burst your bubble, you're all excited about drop shipping on Amazon. I'm sorry, but this is the truth, whether you like it or not. So hopefully you got value. If you did, please leave a comment below. If you have any questions, do the same more than happy to uh to get down there and help you out so thank you everyone again my name is anton for from dropship lifestyle and i'll see you in the next video bye